Live look out there at the moment. It's showing you know some clouds hanging around, and there is the chance we could see isolated showers, thunder showers today. This is our transitional day to what should be a spectacular Saturday and Sunday. Did have a few showers over eastern counties yesterday and overnight. This is where the main slug of moisture is, and it is still what's left of what was once Hurricane Debbie. That thing made landfall seems like weeks ago. It was earlier this week. They're still seeing tornado warnings, one uh, down towards uh, Virginia Beach, Chesapeake, uh, the Tidewater, Virginia area. You got a tornado watch up out there as that low continues to roll northeast. So we've had a cold front go through. We will feel the impact of that and high pressure building in with this general northwesterly flow, bringing the heat and humidity down over the weekend. It's going to be beautiful. And that high is a slow mover. So look at this, we're Saturday into Sunday and the high is just getting in towards St. Louis and moving into Western Kentucky by the end of the weekend. So we're in for a couple of really nice quiet days. And then eventually that high will slide east and the heat and mugginess will return next week. But not extreme heat, we're talking mid to upper 80s. Four tenths of an inch in McKee, eight tenths of an inch in Moorhead. So we did get some rain into our eastern counties yesterday from those few showers. And a positive drought update from the U.S. Drought Monitor. We're now down to 5% of the Commonwealth in moderate drought. You see these little kind of tan pockets. That's the moderate drought. And then these are the abnormally dry conditions. That's still 21%. Problem is, uh, this update came out Thursday. We've had a dry week and we've got a dry weekend and much of next week looks dry. So this is not going to help. We're going to continue to see this drought status fluctuating between, you know, backing off and then deepening again. Where they're not worried about drought as much is uh, off toward the East Coast where this heavy rain continues to roll northeast as what's left of Debbie continues to do the same. You can see some of the heavier rain that's going to spread across New England state. So, yeah, the storm is moving northeast, but it's not done with the U.S. just quite yet. They'll have to deal with that over the weekend before it finally pulls out of here. Big heat dome, upper level ridge across Texas. We've got our upper low wobbling across the Great Lakes, and this is part of uh, what's going on here, the, the, the a little bit of a cool down that we're going to enjoy heading into the weekend. It's 70 degrees now. These are important numbers. This is the dew point. 75 degree dew point in Harlan. That is some swampy air. Low to mid 60s, that is an indication that the uh, air is drying out, that drier air filtering in. And the full impact will be tomorrow. So there it goes. The muggy air and the green shunted down toward the Gulf Coast and the East Coast. This is an indication of that drier, more comfortable air, the lower dew points. Uh, we'll enjoy that today, tomorrow, or I should say tomorrow in full and Sunday as well. And then by Monday into Tuesday, as the wind becomes more southwesterly, as that high shifts east, we'll start to feel that humidity creeping back up on us again. Upper 80s today, partly sunny, keeping a chance for isolated showers and storms in this afternoon. Very low chance. Mostly clear and cooler tonight, dropping to the upper 50s. We'll have a number of mornings with lows down in the 50s. In a number of days, look at that, only in the low 80s. Saturday and Sunday below normal and uh, feeling a little more like September out there by Monday, we're in the mid to upper 80s, Tuesday, Wednesday. So, yeah, we do start to see the heat climbing, the humidity climbing. Next chance for showers and storms still pushed off uh, toward the last couple of days of the eighth day.